On July the 28th, a parade was held in St. Petersburg in honor of the Russian Navy Day. Journalists noted that this parade was the most modest in the history of the event. There were only two ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. This indicates that Ukraine managed to disable most of the Russian ships that were based in the Black Sea. This was reported today, July the 29th, on the air of the Freedom TV channel by the spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Platenchuk. He emphasized that this year, in honor of Navy Day, Russia did not hold the traditional parade in Sevastopol. Unfortunately for us, the Russians did not organize a traditional parade in Sevastopol. If it had been, it would have been possible to draw conclusions about whether the Russian side's statements about the invincibility of the Black Sea Fleet and that their ships are safe and sound are true. After all, the sunken ships destroyed by the Ukrainian Navy would not have been able to participate in the parade. Pletenchuk noted, he added that Russia has already withdrawn most of its Black Sea Fleet ships from Crimea, but some vessels still remain in the ports of the occupied peninsula. At the same time, thanks to the Ukrainian Navy, they do not feel safe there. The Black Sea has become very unsafe for Russian surface ships. They have withdrawn the main vessels that pose any serious threat to Novorossiysk. There are still three Russian submarines left in the Black Sea. In any case, these submarines can be armed. Each can have up to four missiles on board. Therefore, in the event of air raid sirens, we take all appropriate measures. But I repeat, the prospects for Russian ships in the Black Sea are not bright. As a rule, they are at their base and they are limited to the harbor, the spokesman for the Navy said. According to him, a turning point has now occurred in the course of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The new solution was sea drones, which demonstrated a special level of combat operations. Ukraine has actually become a world driver in the use of unmanned surface combat systems. And it is precisely thanks to these systems, among other things, that the Russians are forced to retreat to their base. But we continue to look for ways to clear the territory of the presence of Russian ships and Russians in principle. But we should not relax, because they are also looking for a way to counter our actions. Dmitry Pletenchuk summed up.